What's up everybody, welcome to Video Tech. So one of our previous videos, I compared a GTX 1063 gig to a GTX 1066 gig to find out if the bump up in VRAM is really needed. Now in most games there wasn't really that big of a difference, but in Tomb Raider, Doom and GTA 5 there was quite a difference between the amount of VRAM needed to play the games in full graphics. But now I want to find out how my old GTX 980 compared to the 1060s. So I put my 980 against the two 1060s, the 3 gig and the 6 gig versions to find out the difference between the two. Now the 3 gig version wasn't really that big of a competitor, it was more the 6 gig version which had more VRAM and a higher core and memory clock but the 980 did have more CUDA cores and a higher bitrate so I was curious to find out if that really made that big of a difference in frame rates so for my test system I used my old i5 3570k running at 3.4 gigahertz and also had 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance memory running at 1600 megahertz also, all three of the cards were not overclocked. I wanted to keep it as stock as possible, but keep in mind the boost clocks does range from brand to brand, so that may differ. Now, to keep the video a bit shorter, I did cut out some parts in the games and in the benchmarks, because otherwise the video would have been too long. So if you see any difference between the frames at the bottom and at the top, that's because of that. Uh, for the benchmarks, I did take the final score that's at the end of the benchmark and added it in, so that's why you would see that it's a bit of a difference there. But I did take up the final score at the end, so don't worry about that. But with that, let's get into the benchmarks right after this. Do you live in South Africa and want to get yourself some awesome new gaming products? Well, check out Rebel Tech. They have extremely low prices and stock all the major brands like Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, Corsair and many more. They also have the new Ryzen Threadrippers in store and when you purchase any selected Asus ROG monitors, you will get a copy of PUBG for free. So check out the link in the video description to go visit Rebel Tech.
And that's it for the benchmarks. So as you guys could see, there wasn't really that big of a difference between the 6 gig 1060 and the 980. But however, there was a difference between the 3 gig 1060 and the 980. It wasn't massive, but you could see the difference. But overall, the 980 was better than the other two cards. It was only in GTA 5 where the 1066 gig really was better. With the other cards, they didn't have enough VRAM to load all of the textures, so they didn't even want to go into full screen. And as you guys could see, it didn't want to load all of the textures on the ground. So that's where the more VRAM really is needed, and that's where the 1066 gig really, really pulled through. So that was pretty cool to see the difference between the two, but the main question now is should you rather go for the newer GTX 1066 gig or the older 980? Well, games are going to keep improving and with that you're going to need a lot more VRAM to load off the textures. Also, all of my benchmarks was tested in 1080p, and if you want to go to 4K, you are going to need more VRAM. So VRAM will help to load all the textures, but it's not the only thing that matters. CUDA cores and the bitrate does also matter. So this is where I'm curious to find out how the GTX 1070 will perform, because it does have almost the same core clocks and memory clock as the 1060, but the, almost the same CUDA cores and the bitrate as the 980. So I'm curious to find out how that one will perform, so I am looking to get one to do the testing for you. But between the 1066 gig and the 980, I would personally rather go for the 1060 because it is a lot cheaper and you don't really get that much more performance out of the 980. And the 1060 does have more VRAM for in the future where games is going to need a lot more. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. Also, if you have suggestions for other graphics card I should test, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get my hands on it. And if you don't like the style of the video that I went with, please let me know in the comments below uh, because I kind of like it. It's something different. I don't just want to put it in graphs. It's a bit boring. So I added the style that I did here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll check you guys next time. Cheers guys.